I want to show you how you can easily create prepayments on a purchase order in Dynamics 365 Business Central. I'm going to start out with a purchase order. I'm going to set it up for prepayment. I'm going to generate the prepayment invoice. I'm going to make one payment and then make a second payment. And then I'll receive the PO in and also assign the invoice to it. So here's my purchase order to my vendor. I have an arrangement with that vendor that I make a prepayment on this purchase order. I can specify the prepayment down here under prepayment area. For this vendor, I pay 100%. I could do it at the line level, but I'm going to do it at the header level here. I can define a prepayment percentage at the vendor level and at the item level if I want to. Here I'm doing it at the purchase order level. The next step is to create a prepayment invoice. This is going to be a payables invoice. I'll go to Actions, Posting, Prepayment, Post a Prepayment Invoice. For this prepayment, I put the invoice number as this. I put the PO number plus the word prepayment. You can see once I generated the prepayment invoice, it changed the status of this PO to pending prepayment. Here's the prepayment invoice here. This invoice is in accounts payable. And what I want to do is make two payments from this invoice. So let's do that. And now I'm going to make the first payment on that invoice. I'm in a payment journal. I'm going to apply that prepayment invoice partially to this journal here. Here's the prepayment. I'm going to apply the payment here. But I'm only going to make a 50% payment on this. Hit OK. That becomes part of my payment journal here. I'm going to go ahead and print a check for this, and then I'm going to post it. Here's the check, and then I'll post it. Let's go back to the purchase order, and we can look at the prepayment status. If I go to Related, Documents, I can see the prepayment invoices. Here's a prepayment invoice here. I can drill down on that see the current status. I see the prepayment invoice plus the first payment. So now a month has passed. And my arrangement with this vendor requires me to make a second payment to pay the remaining amount of that purchase order. So go back to the payment journal and make that payment. And again, I want to go and apply that remaining part of that prepayment invoice to this payment. That's the remaining amount of this prepayment invoice. I'm going to include that in my payment journal, print the check, and then post. And now I can go back to the purchase order and look at the current status of those prepayments. Go to Related, Documents. Here's a prepayment invoice. I can drill down on that and see both payments. I can see the one in April and the second one in May. Now at this point, I can receive this and I can put the final invoice in against this purchase order. So I'll receive it first. And then when I get the final invoice, I can put that information in here. I'll change the invoice number and I'll post that. And we'll take a look at that posted invoice. So the total amount is zero. It's showing a line item for the prepayment. You can see that here. It's got all the line items that we purchased. So this is how you can create purchase orders with prepayments and make multiple payments against that purchase order. Mm -hmm.